and welcome to this basic tutorial for recording a video with Shadowplay, uh, adding it to Windows Movie Maker and uploading it to YouTube. I've been asked to do this by a few beginners who want to start out doing uh, some gameplays on YouTube and you know this is the, all, all the software they have so here goes rather than like spend ages trying to do it via text messages simple video is the best of way so first thing we want to do go to microsoft.com in fact i should already have it yep microsoft.com search movie maker click search bear with me uh, click click the top one then click download now that will start windows live essentials 2012 uh, once you've got that, you'll have the options to choose custom programs. Just dis uncheck everything but the Movie Maker and Photo Gallery. You want that. Once you've got that, it will look like this. Yep, so there we go. Basic, simple stuff for beginners. Now, with Shadowplay, you want to just open it up. NVIDIA Experience. Just give it a second because it is quite slow in initializing. Once it is open, click Shadow Play, make sure it's turned on, set mode to manual, uh, quality to high, audio to in-game and mic, that will give you 60 FPS, 50,000 bit rate, and yeah, and also, and this is what I find very, very important, I always click uh, also allow desktop with capture because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to record with Shadow Play right now and do what I'm doing, so click that for desktop stuff and tutorials. Uh, the controls are here, Alt plus F9 is to start recording and stop recording. Uh, but very important, I made a separate save locations for my videos to a dedicated disk just for the video capture. So it doesn't have any performance issues by running on the same disk as the OS or your games and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so once you've uh, played a game, you've pressed Alt plus F9 and you've recorded footage. Uh, for me... Here's the folder I created, Shadow Play. So it goes into vids. Uh, desktop is where I'm recording now. As you can see, it's not done yet because I'm still recording. Uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist was the one I just captured. Uh, 2.3 gig. We've deleted the 2.3 gig one because it's a bit big for just a demo. Uh, so 212 megabyte. Uh, I'll just show you that quickly. Uh, there is a section where I'm talking this and we're gonna show you how to split the video and cut that out. So there you go now how do we get this in movie maker well simple windows movie maker add videos take it to where you created your save locations for shadow play go to vids uh, blacklist click on it left click open in it goes now to make things quicker i go to options i go to file then options then advanced and I uncheck these two because it it doesn't prepare the videos for editing first and all that and it really does cut a lot of time out once I've done this I want to create a custom uh, setting and the reason I want to do that is because at the moment it's recorded at 50,000 bit rate as I said and I wanted that half that so we're going to go to 25,000 bit rate we're going to keep it at 1920 by 1080. So width 1920, height uh, 1080, bit rate 25,000. Yep, and the frame rate we, we recorded at 60 FPS, so we're going to do it at uh, 60. Now, if you want to halve the file size again, put the frame rate to 30. That's up to you if you want to do that or not. And then we're going to save it, and it's called 25. So now when we go to save movie, you can see it's there, 25. Now I'm not going to save it just yet because there was a part in here where I talked. So let's find it. We'll just move the slider. Hang on. Not there. Probably here. Hang on. Not there. Now you see these sound bars. This is where you'll find where the audio is. So... I didn't talk in it okay so I'll talk here okay so you hear that I talked there now I want to cut that bit out so I'm gonna move the bar just before the sound wave right click 
click split. Now let's find out where I talk to. Set up computer. Let's move it back a little bit. Now, set up shop. Right there. So make sure on the right side of the bar, right click it, split it, and then click the bit in the middle where we were, click remove, and now. In the police station, they've set up computer. So we've cut it, we've got rid of the bit we didn't want. Uh, we can also click the, the new section and we can add animations and so on. So we'll just go back, let that play. From the police station, they've set up computers. And you see how the animation come in. You can then click home, uh, caption, and just basically add a, a test text like this. Uh, if you click B, it will broaden it. Uh, we can click different colors. We can slant it. Yeah. Uh, we can go bigger, like BHM big, big, huge, massive, and so on. Just simple, basic editing stuff. If you have an intro, you can put that in before you put your video, or you can put it in after. It does, you know, anything extra. Like, say, if I have uh, an intro video like this. Now notice how that was too loud. I'm gonna click on this section. I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna to go to volume. I'm gonna just turn it down nice and quiet. And that covers the cutting. And the volumes. So we can uh, also do the same thing here. We can just turn the volume down a little bit if it's too loud, like so, on all the sections. And now you can see it's much, much quieter. It's, it's just simple, basic stuff. Uh, like I say, it's for beginners. Uh, it's not really for people who are used to it. Obviously, they're going to use OBS and you know Sony Vegas Pro and all that stuff. But yeah, just for beginners. Now we've done that, we can either do one or two things or anything you want actually. We can we can add some music, uh, like so. I'm not gonna play it because of copyright issues. So I'm gonna left click on the music bar, right click and click remove. Uh, you can also uh, record a narration like so. Blah, 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 yeah. That record now listen blah 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 now once you've done that if you want the game louder or uh, anything like that what you can do is uh, you can go to music which will blah 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 or you can go more to uh, game but I think it's in project so well we can't do it anyway for some reason it's not allowing us to do it but there is a balance you can emphasize the narration anyway uh just go to edit narration there we go so now we can do it yeah so we can make it louder or quieter so we're going to do it quieter blah 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 blah, blah, blah which blah. is really too quiet and you can get it there look so we're going to do it again blah 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 so you can make like a separate voiceover which is pretty good i mean it Windows Movie Maker is not brilliant by a long way, but it does work. Now that save we created earlier, uh, let's just have a look at the file size. I think it was 200 and something meg, wasn't it? So let's go to Shadow Play, uh, Vids, Desktop. Uh, it was actually Splinter Cell, not there. So yeah, 212 meg. Now I've added a bit of uh, narration. I've added a bit of my own thing which is also quite a large file this in its own is something like 20 or 40 meg something like that but if we save it on the custom setting that we did like so i'm going to direct it to my separate movie maker folder which i created on the d drive i'm just going to name it test for you guys make sure it's clicked on movie maker click open click save now i'm going to let that edit which will take a minute because editing sucks and takes ages i mean guys this really is just for beginners yeah but it's a good way you know just to get started until you start getting into all the sony vegas and you know 
like OBS and all those other ones that you can record with. Okay, once it's done, what you can do is you can either just click here, yeah, and do one of their own recommended ones, which I never do, in all fairness, or you can close it, uh, go to the uh, Movie Maker folder, and you can see it here, it's now only 109 megabytes, so way, way, way smaller. Just play it quickly. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah. Okay. And see the quality, quality is really, really not that bad. Movie Maker is not too bad. And there's plenty of audio options as well. The only thing I don't like is the Shadow Play mic recording is pretty damn bad compared to the likes of OBS. Wait that out. Terrible shot. Okay, there's the test. Do you text? You just tell I turn the volume down. There's the endings. And, you know, that is so, 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 so simple. Then obviously, you know, you just go to YouTube. You get rid of that junk. Go to YouTube. And click upload. Go here. Go to your folder, which is going to be a movie maker for me. I can't upload it yet, but now there it is yet. Movie maker and then click open and it will start uploading. Add your descriptions and so on. And yeah, that's it. Just the basic stuff for beginners. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, uh, just let me know in the comments if it helps you out or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.